Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. And I want to show you a few curious things about one of your favorite stars. Now, who is this star? Well, he's the richest man in the world, for one. And he owns quite a few interesting things. You know, Elon Musk, or Musk on L. Yeah, um, let's take a look at uh, something. I'm going to read to you chapter 12, and then we're going to look at the areas in the green. And we're, well, I'm not going to read all of chapter 12, but I'm going to read part of it. And we're going to compare some things. Some, we'll call them coincidences, okay? So let's go. Chapter 12 revelations and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars and she being with child cried travailing in birth and pained to be delivered and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon you know a serpent having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And he and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay, so let's stop right there for a second. And let's go look at a couple of things. We're going to, we want to look for a, a red dragon that's being up in the, the heavens flying around. Or something symbolizing a red dragon. You know, something that breathes fire. Fire is shooting out of it. You know, like a dragon. And there should be something else to tell us that this is the red dragon. And we're going to look and see if it has seven heads or ten horns or anything like that. So, hang on just a second. So here is the event that we were talking about. This took place, as you can see, back on September 23rd, 2017 at 9-11. Imagine that. You have all the stars in the crown on her head you have jupiter which was in her womb see this was actually oops excuse me let me go into the next one here so you can see a little bit better you can see that jupiter was in the womb and Jupiter was actually in the womb for about nine months it was in the area of the sky right but this is just a I want to make sure you are familiar with the event and stuff this is when it actually uh, entered the womb area as you would call it the body the holy place and 9-11 which is this one 10 is the actual moment in time of that event. Here's a little bit more information about it. I'm sure most of you have heard of this. But what I want to show you is who is symbolizing themselves as being Apollo. Sorry about the noises. Nothing I can do about it, really. So SpaceX and the X, X is the mark. X is the most simplest form of the mark of the beast. First off, it is indeed. SpaceX is dragon now, oh dragon? Are we talking about a dragon again? SpaceX and a dragon, mark of the beast, the, the dragon, the red dragon? Well, it's a dragon, okay. Now with seeding for seven. So the new capsule the dragon capsule 
that sits atop of the rocket or the horn is or holds seven head, seven people. Yeah, they just redid it so it can hold seven people. You see, the new prototype that they're unveiling right now for the Dragon capsule will hold seven people. Oh, and look. Of course, he has the dragon symbolism on there. But does he have ten horns? Well, let's look. A horn is like something that can poke you, right? It has a pointy top on it. And it's kind of long. And like a horn on a bull can poke you. Well, look at these. Remember the Falcon 9? That was the ninth design. That was the ninth design change that they came up with. So it's the ninth of the Falcon 9. But guess what? They're coming out with a new one. As of 2020, the company also developed the fully reusable Starship launch system, which is the 10th horn. Yep. So they're going to have a... Ten horns. See? They're horns. And guess what? They blow fire out of out of themselves. You see? They're blowing fire. They have ten horns. They have seven heads. You get it? And of course, it's the biggest rocket since the Apollo, the Apollyon, the Apollo program. You think there's a message here? Do you think any of this could be evil? Do you think uh, Starlink could have anything to do with this with all the stars looking like they're stars in the sky? Hang on, guys. So here's a little bit closer look at the, you know, the supposed horn that they're going to shoot to Mars. Yeah, if you believe that, I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona I want to sell you. Look at this thing. They've even got it black. Yeah. You see? That's the tenth horn that you're looking at there. But guess what? They tried a test launch re recently, and it, was, it fell from the sky. It was cast down to the earth. Oops. That's actually not the right image. This is. It was cast down to the earth and was grounded. Hmm. I might be reaching a small amount on that one. But it was cast down. It crashed, blew up, and fell to the earth. And it literally was supposedly grounded. Yeah, right, right. But, yep. And let's see what else here. Yep, grounded. That was its test launch, I guess. They are all cheering. When it blew up, they were all cheering. Yeah, amazing, right? Uh, let's see here. I think that is about all I wanted to show you for the moment on this. And I know this isn't as long a video as normal, and I know you, some of you love my longer videos, but I wanted to put this out, and I've got a number of other things that I'm working on. Because all this is tied together, you understand? It's all one big uh, show, you might say. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for the ones of you who choose to support my work. And if you're new here or have never considered supporting my work, all my links to the ways to support me are down below. And I'll try to give y'all guys a personal update here soon. All right, I love you. Our Father in Heaven loves you. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.